Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Been collecting a few items from eBay here to make a little project. So let me give you a sneak peek here. This just came in today from Perfect Lights, and I already opened one of these here. And just to check this out first. So this is just a little um, three meter string of holiday lights. Okay, got the case open, a couple batteries shoved in there. I guess I'll leave the top off here. So this is a 10 foot, 3 meter string of little red LEDs. I guess they call these fairy lights or holiday lights. But what I want to do is make these motion activated. This is the next part here. And I've popped one of these out of the package. I picked up a few. This little guy here is a little miniature PIR, photoelectric infrared sensor. I think everything's fixed. There's no adjustment uh, sensitivity or timer adjustment. So hopefully this one will work. So the plan is to wire one of these into this battery pack to detect motion and turn these lights on and off. But there's not enough drive current in this device. One of the reasons I need to get a four battery holder is I need 4.8 volts. This runs down to about 3.3 volts and then I also need to be able to add in what came in uh, this package which is a bunch of 2N 3904 it's an NPN switching transistor 2 amps I think it's rated at so I need to wire the transistor to the little infrared motion sensor have that uh, in between the battery and the LED and then it'll turn the LEDs on when the when there's motion detected and turn it off otherwise and that way hopefully the battery pack will last quite a while. Yeah so this is the little step down in between two rooms in my house you can see foot there for scale it's, and the problem is that's kind of right on the edge of my kitchen and at night sometimes you don't know exactly where that uh, step is without turning on a light yeah, so that's just a real rough idea of what that'll look like here. It's a little bit of daylight coming in during the afternoon here. It should but give just a faint red glow. I picked up a set of red LEDs and then I also have a set of warm white. So I don't know which one I will end up using. And, uh, you know, excuse the dirty carpet here. That's all getting ripped out uh, once I get this room cleaned out. Because I want to take out the carpeting and then there's actually uh, old tile underneath the carpeting so I want to see what shape the tile is in and the inspiration for this project came from a video on bigclive.com that he did a while back I'll put a link to his video here so you can take a look at that I think he he made some motion sensing holiday lights but I want these to be kind of a, a motion sensing stair lighting if you will the idea is if I can prevent accidentally stepping over the edge and twisting my ankle, that would be well worth the effort to build this. So hopefully I'll be able to get several months worth of runtime on a set of batteries. Because I don't want to plug this into the wall, these will be battery powered all the time. And then I'll just recharge the batteries off of solar power every couple of months, I hope. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, put that in the comments section below. Uh, subscribe to my channel to be notified when I post an update to this video. And as always, thanks for watching.